Happy Vlogmas guys, comment below your favorite Christmas movie and or a fun rumor you'd like to start. Enjoy! Good morning guys, welcome to a weekend of my life vlog. If anyone would like to explain to me why my voice is always shot, I talk a lot, okay? But not that much more than like a lot of other people. Making coffee, making really coffee. Also if anyone knows um, a brand that would like to collaborate on a cowboy boot with me, um, I'm your girl. Me. Not kidding everyone. I need to design a cowboy boot. It is my dream. This weekend is going to be a fun one. I'm actually going to the studio today and I come back here and I'm recording someone else's podcast. Tonight we have our big girls Christmas party, which I'm excited for. They have been going like over and above and I'm actually normally, I normally host too. So it's actually like nice to not be hosting for once, even though I like love hosting. Also, trying my new green juice from Sutra. I don't think I was shaking well enough. Ooh. It's 8.30. Dana is here. She's working this morning for my house. Doing just a bunch of like Christmas stuff that I need done. Just random stuff. I need to head to the studio in like two hours. Need to get some videos done. I went out last night. It's not like out. I had one drink. We went to a bar, but I'm so tired. Oh, oops. Why do I keep doing this? I can't remember anything. Also, this creamer. It's good. All right, guys, I'm finally ready. I did a little bit of makeup. Got a lot of random stuff done this morning. I was quite the multitasker. I'm wearing my Alicia Marie Vlogmas merch with my Uggs like this. I, this is like how I dressed for school in middle school. So anyways, we're off to the studio. I'm recording the rest of this year's intros, outros, and ads. So I think I have like a two hour session that I'm recording for someone else's podcast later today. I was gonna wear a cute outfit, but honestly, I just like couldn't be bothered to that. By the way, Breadwinning Housewife merch is available. Linked below. Fits. This looks cute on you. Ooh. Got a nice medicine ball. I've been drinking this a lot lately. Honestly, I crave the taste, but also my voice. <laughs> I'm back home and I got these so quickly. I ordered the Jeffrey Campbell boots that I'm obsessed with. I have them in cream and black as well. These are a must have. I'm telling you guys, they're the best boots ever. Honestly, they have a brown. I might buy those as well and have them in three colors. They are the best boots ever. I'm not exaggerating. Like I will wear these forever. If you buy anything I ever tell you to buy, buy a Kindle and these boots, okay? We've got some presents that are now wrapped. Life hack, if you have divorced parents and then you also have like social things you go to, I basically like color coordinate with my wrapping paper which house it's going to. So that's my mom's, the other ones were friends. Guys, I've changed into my pajamas. We have a Christmas pajama party tonight and I'm wearing it from Daily Drills. Doesn't look like a pajama set, so I'm about to wear it for this recording that starts in one minute. I'm recording for the Backbone Not Wishbone podcast. Um, so I'm getting on right now. Tonight is gonna be very exciting. I'm really looking forward to today. In this weekend, I forgot we have holiday tea on Sunday as well. So like, I mean, oh my God. Busy, busy girls these days, busy girls. Also, whose vlog are you guys watching? I was just watching Danny's vlog. Um, I always watch Danielle and Brooke. I feel like those are like my two people that I always watch. Hi, how are you? Yay! Do you want me to record with my mic and I can send over the audio? Hey guys, giving you a full little outfit. Tonight, we're doing a Christmas pajama party and this is my new Christmas pajama set from Daily Drills. I mean, love. I just recorded a podcast for Backbone, not Wishbone, and like that was the best podcast I've ever recorded as a guest, ever. It was so good. I'm literally going to be wearing these pajamas to the bars tonight. Like I'm gonna wear a coat over this. So like if you saw me in Dallas wearing Christmas pajamas to the bar, no you didn't, you know? Besides that really ugly light, I mean just how cozy 
does my house look right now? Beautiful. Also, we need to talk about this. It's like literally witchcraft. This is the best product ever. I've been using it the past few weeks. And oh my god. I used it like I think for Morp, which was like a Sadie Hawkins dance in high school. Probably sophomore year of high school last. And then Dom and I picked it up. I think Halloween, and I've just been using it um, on weekends, basically, like, when I actually get ready. It is life-changing. If you've never used this, like, I will show you before and after. It is unreal. All right, apparently I'm a liar because I do the, like, leg makeup um, when I'm nude. So couldn't show you guys before and after. This makes your legs look so much more even. I don't even know if you can, like, tell on camera. Anyways, this is my look. Again, I'm hoping that Fitz looks like he's ready to go to bed. So anyways, um, it is Friday night. We have to head to Presley's. She's having this like insane Christmas party for the girls and they're picking us up and like I think they're like sprinter and I think they've ducked that out. I mean, it's like literally gonna be the craziest Christmas thing ever. So I will be getting clips and then I think after that we're gonna go to the bars. So yes, I will be at the bars in my Christmas pajamas. Honestly, you're only 24 once, you know, dedication. Guys, Jess is wrapping her first gift ever. So that wasn't what I pictured. I pictured you were gonna go, I mean, yeah, but like, I'm not that I'm good at this either. For the record, you would go like this, tape it, and then cut more, and then keep going from there. Okay. So I would get it like a little bit more over like that. If I had double-sided, that would be better, but I don't. I don't really feel like it's that big We have literally a Nintendo Switch for White oh Elephant God. from Jess. <laughs> so, yeah, and she's never wrapped a gift before in her life. So here we are, but honestly, you're doing a pretty good job. The taping is the easiest part right now. <laughs> I'm heating up my bolognese, and then this just came in the mail. I bought it um, earlier this week. I will let you guys know how it goes. Not that I'm like planning on drinking that much, but it's essentially like an herbal multivitamin for drinking. You take two pills with water before. I'll keep you guys posted. I mean, like, I am so bad at when I'm heating up leftovers. The portion size, like this is probably like three. Fitz just loves the camera. I feel like I'm in Soho. <sighs> yeah, one time I made her do an LRO's TikTok and she wanted to murder me, so yeah. oh, 12 minutes away. So we're going to a white elephant party, my first Christmas party of the season. This is my first Christmas party ever. Just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jess is not, she's kind of like Scrooge in the Christmas. This is the most like Christmassy outfit I've ever worn. Also, and I'm just wearing striped pajama pants. And they're mine. And they're not Christmas colors. They're like pink and black, I think. They're really supposed to be white, but you know, oh, the wash. Oh, yeah. sometimes it happens. It happens to the best of us. Um, I'll get a few clips, I'm sure. And then going, I look, this is my incognito look when I go to the bar after. Because <laughs> like, Kenzie's going to the bar in that outfit. Yeah, in my pajamas. This is with my Uggs. Like, this is me incognito at the bars. Yeah, but like, no one will recognize you. You look like um, No one will. Who's the detective? Like, Sherlock Holmes? Like, oh my god, that's what I was gonna find. Where's your hat? Oh, what? I need one. No, you do actually, because you look like Sherlock Holmes. I'm more so my incognito that people won't notice I'm wearing pajamas. Yeah, but it's like a. a uh, what's it called? I just can't believe I'm gonna be wearing. I mean, I just deserve to be wearing Uggs at the bar. Yeah. It's a dream of mine. Fitz, you've got to stop, mister. What are you doing? Smells Cooper all over me. Mrs. Him. He's just crazy. He loves his friends. So, anyways, we're gonna head out. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy time. It's not real. <laughs> How you doing? So oh, great, thanks Kenzie. Yeah, fully sponsored. Brought her white elephant gift and pajamas. Yep, all of it, all for me though. Yep, <laughs> but Kenzie. Saturday, we're back in the cabinet. 
I have my green juice. Last night was so fun. It literally felt like I was in the Kardashian Christmas party. Like, it was the most insane. I didn't get that much footage or anything. You really can't even tell on camera, honestly, how it was like the craziest thing. It was beautiful. After that, we went out for like a second and then I got home probably like 1.30. It is almost noon. I made myself sleep in until 11.30 today. I'm so bad at sleeping in. Like it's like past like 10, it's just difficult, but I needed to catch up on like weeks worth of sleep. I thought for breakfast I was gonna have the new Magic Spoon cereal, but I'm out of almond milk. I don't have plans until tonight and I really just wanna lay around my house. I wanna finish my new book, which is Local Woman Missing. It is actually really good. I'm really enjoying it. I can finish that today, maybe start a new one. Um, I think Presley and I are going to start on our New York itinerary for our New Year's Eve trip. I mean, we just got some things to do. Cheers, everyone. Me and my green juice. I'm feeling really incredible. I had, like, one drink last night, and it's just... I love my life. Maybe it was those pills, though, because I did have, like... No, I think I had, like, two drinks tops. But, like, you know. So I couldn't really test the pills. Sometimes it just sounds gross. You know what I mean? And, like, you wouldn't know that I wasn't drinking. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing about my... You know personality but yeah we're off to read I'm actually gonna read my living room the fire is on isn't that just beautiful <laughs> took a shower it doesn't matter what I do my skin and my lips will not stay hydrated not even the jet lag mask can fix me at this point guys actually maybe it can oh well, anyways I was gonna take you through a post shower routine but my bathtub is being really obnoxious I finished local woman missing that was probably the best thriller I have read in a while let's chat so on the Geneva app, I made some new little things. If you guys don't know, Geneva is an app, but basically we have like one big group chat. So it's like one home and then there's a bunch of different rooms. So we have rooms for like books, advice, products, podcasts, and also for cities. So if you guys are trying to make new friends, I meet you guys out and about all the time. And it's like, oh my God, we became friends through your Geneva app. So I was like, this is crazy. So I added like Nashville, Chicago, Austin. Then we need to add Houston, there's Dallas. There's a few other cities, New York, LA. If you want more, let me know and also join the group chat. Cannot talk to that. Okay, so I'm going to go through my hair. My wet brush is downstairs and I can't be bothered. It's 3 p.m. I need to leave here at like six something to head off to drinks and dinner tonight. Um, I would not be surprised if I actually don't go out. It's very rare that I don't go out, but I'm honestly just so tired and honestly at this time of year it's easy to get like really overwhelmed because there's like so many festive things that i really want to do and like i literally think that i am mrs claus where is my little plex here we go so i'm trying to like make sure i'm taking it easy at times because like obviously the holiday season is just really busy it can be really overwhelming it's really expensive it's really exhausting i mean you can really name all of it I think it's just really important to make sure you are like practicing self-compassion, which is something that I've been trying to work on this year. And the holidays can be a very, very lonely time. And that's like part of the reason and one of the many reasons why I care so much about us building like a community and you guys becoming like friends with each other and not just like resting on me to join the Geneva app. But in all seriousness, like it can be a lonely time. It can be a time that like makes any issues that you have feel so much worse because you put a lot of pressure on yourself and I think there's just a lot of pressure just honestly by everyone else to like either have so much fun, be so busy, be happy because it's the holidays or like a lot of pressure on like being in a relationship when you're going home, talking to family. My family's not like that thankfully but I know that that is a huge thing. I talk to friends about it all the time and they're like honestly it's just a lot and I know it can be a very overwhelming time so if you are not in the best place, if you're not having like the most fun in your life if it's just kind of like a subpar okay month, don't feel bad about it. I have had, you know, Christmases where I was just like really unhappy and I felt so guilty because it was Christmas. So I was like, oh my God, I need to be happy. I need to, you know, feel good. I need to be surrounded by the right people and all that stuff. And that will come in life. I think we all go through just like phases of sometimes things are really good and sometimes things are just not where we want them to be. 
and that was okay give yourself grace holidays can be a really hard time so i wanted to kind of talk about that at the beginning of like a vlogmas because it is just an important conversation like it is fine if you are not at your best self and at your happiest and surrounded by a bunch of people it is a really honestly like isolating and lonely time sometimes and you know people have family problems it's hard to even be around family sometimes but i love you we love you it is okay you don't have to have everything together and it's not be perfect just because it's holidays it can be a very difficult time so i know um, i've also been loving the way body cream gonna put this lotion on i have like three more hours of work that i want to do before i get into it and also on monday i rented out this house that's like home alone themed like they even leave like the 20 for pizza in the um what is it called where they do it in the movie why am i blanking the car case like and I'm like trying to plan out like what I'm gonna do there. I think I'm gonna keep it out of week in my life vlog. I personally just really like when my vlogs are longer and there's a lot more happening versus me posting like a bunch of 10 minute vlogs. Let me know what you guys think. I just think that like, I don't know, I feel like I'm a lot more connected with you guys when I'm posting longer videos typically. So if you are feeling lonely in the holiday season, it is okay. Instagram is just a highlight reel, I promise you if I've learned one thing about being on the internet if you think that you are going through something alone or that people don't get it or that everyone else's life is so much better it isn't and probably most of us are feeling the exact same way i used to have this thing this isn't really holiday related but i used to really dread saturdays and i don't know actually i do know why one routine and structure helps my anxiety and saturdays were like supposedly like my day off but Saturdays were the only thing that I didn't have every hour booked. So when I went from life being like Monday to Friday booked from 6 a.m. to like 8 p.m. and then Sundays I had like 16 hour days to having nothing on Saturdays, I would get a lot of anxiety and I think I was honestly just afraid of being alone with my own thoughts and like not um, distracting myself and not just like distracting myself from everything in my life. Like, I didn't deal with so many issues because I just kept myself busy for so long and Saturdays just made me like so depressed. I was always in a really, really weird state. I wasn't in a good mood. Um, obviously, like my life in LA was like, really different, but I just got really anxious about Saturdays and I didn't like life slowing down because then, what's it saying? It's like, where you go, there you are, something like that. Um, because then I had to like look with myself or like think about the things that were really bothering me or that I was putting off, dealing with things like that. It honestly wasn't until like mid 2020 when I started going back to therapy that I started dealing with that and that was like a two year span. I think also like we're naturally kind of can go through phases where we're afraid of being alone. Being alone is a really great thing. It's a very powerful thing. It's something I actually really love being alone now and I have it most parts of my life. But when you're going through something or when you're just kind of overwhelmed, I think sometimes it can be a lot scarier. So just know that if you guys are having a hard time in the holiday season, feeling lonely, feeling overwhelmed, just not happy um, or just feeling depressed and anxious, just know I see you. And also I think this can open up a conversation for all of us because it really is such a common thing and no one talks about it. So love you guys. Anyways, I'm going to go work in my room. I'm going to just lay in bed for a while and then I'm going to start getting ready for tonight. Look at this new clothing rack I got. I replaced the old one. This one's bigger and it rolls. This corner is actually just donations. Not the mirror, but like that stuff can just be taken away. Anyways, well, I mess up the shoes. I can move it around, which makes it easier for me. It's bigger. The other one was falling apart. What I want to start doing is just planning out some outfits for the week on Sundays. So maybe we will do that tomorrow. Um, I need to figure out what I want to wear. Actually, I first off, guys... Once and for all, for myself for Christmas, I'm replacing these lights, I think. Um, what do I get that isn't this? Because it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And I, for whatever reason, I always put it off, you know? This needs to be, like, legitimately thrown out. There's water damage all over it, but it's just so big I can't do it myself. Haven't gotten around to it. All right, I have a black tie event next week. I'll show you guys that outfit that I got. I just ordered this dress from Windsor. It's not too expensive. When I got it, I thought it would for sure be, like, too big i would say it could fit better but it's definitely like doable especially just for one night and then i'm going to wear my i think these heels with them that i just got from revolve haven't even tried these yet i mean i don't know i also got closed toed heel no i need to go try those on i haven't gotten those yet so this is what i will be wearing i'll give you guys a better view this right here but with heels right this is good I'll link it below. 
Um, the material is like fine. Like it's not obviously insane, but it's literally only forty dollars for like a black tie event. Um, it's not bad at all. Honestly, if I sh if I wash this too, I bet it shrinks a little bit. For whatever reason, it is literally seventy degrees in Dallas right now. Like I have a lot of questions. Oh, you know what? I have a holiday party this week, and you know what? I'm finally gonna wear this dress. I recently got this vest from Zara. I have been doing so much shopping. I it, honestly, it's because of my stylist. Brittany, style by Brittany on Instagram. She does some really cute stuff all the time. She also found this dress for me. So if you guys want like style and spell, follow her Instagram also, just hire her, she's incredible. Anyways, I got this vest from Zara. That is so cute. What a good buy. This dress I've had from Revolve for uh, probably two years, I think at this point. And I think I'm finally gonna wear it. I'm finally getting into like really high heels as of last week, I decided. Um, so I like need to figure that out for whatever reason literally 70 degrees in Dallas So like what do I wear when I'm going out like I'm confused. I got this dress from Princess Polly. That's so cute The issue is the buttons just like unbutton so easily My plan was to wear a skirt and boots and then a coat over it and then just like be hot I mean, it's all white. So like is that my smartest move? I just bought the cutest all white coat off misguided I'll show you guys when it comes, but like I wish I had that for tonight. All right, so this is what I've decided on um, for tonight's outfit. I have my wandering coyote boots on, this skirt, I have this white button up, and then I'm just gonna put this little black cardigan on. You guys will see in a second. I wanna finish getting ready before I button everything up because I cannot wear a white top and do makeup at the same time. I need a different purse. I don't wanna wear my brown one. I need a, honestly, I need a good black, like nice bag. I guess I could wear. My Balenciaga, that would be kind of fun with this bag. I kind of like that. I think that's actually what I'm gonna do tonight. All right, so this outfit is over because of the like sweater I didn't like with it. Maybe if I just wore, you know what? If I could find my big black free people sweater, just wear that over the skirt with these boots. But like the whole look, it just isn't coming together as I wanted it to. All right, this is my outfit. The dogs are playing. Unfortunately, I can't wear a black coat with it. It would look a lot better. This skirt is Princess Polly. Top is just a black turtleneck from forever ago, like literally Kindle and Kylie Light and Pac Sun. And then I have my new Jeffrey Campbell boots that I have in white that I wear all the time. They're really comfortable. I'm gonna wear my Balenciaga bag. It's a very like fall look. I'm not obsessed, but like I don't really have many other options. It's just so hot right now. <laughs> Sunday, it is 9.30. I just wanna say, these purple tree things, magic. I feel incredible. Okay, Jess is on her way here. We're going on a nice walk to Starbucks this morning. I wanted to start off with some green juice. I am the epitome of health these weekends. Look at me. I don't even look like myself. Um, yeah, my face is puffy. The pills don't really do much about that, but I left my skinny confidential ice roller at my mom's house, and it's been horrible. And I actually think I gave it. Oh, I have half extras. These are so bad. Once you use a skinny, like it's horrible. Once you use a skinny confidential ice roller, if you've ever wondered if the skinny confidential ice roller is worth it, like I've never been more sure of it than in this moment using this one again. I mean, it's really bad. But I just wake up, it doesn't matter. Like it, I wake up every day now with my face puffy. It did not used to be this way. And it's not just like, it's not from like one certain thing, you know? Gotta make sure you drink all of this because it's $10. I started listening to Shannon Ford's podcast because so many of you guys have been um, DMing me, like telling me to record with her. I love her. Oh my god, what a great show. I look like a mom going on a school field trip, and I kind of am. favorite breakfast a bacon sauerkraut hash i mean it's so good do you guys ever wake up and you're like i don't even look like myself guys my pantry right now turned a closet into a pantry um and i just like throw things in there and i've been gone and people have been like saying you're watching it i mean it is just i mean there's no excuse i don't even know why i'm trying to make an excuse oh my god oh my god oh my god 
And also, like, when I host period games, we literally have, like, boxes of alcohol that's, like, not been used. That's trust. I mean, it's really embarrassing. So, uh, I bought those recently, and I could not even tell you what I bought them for. I don't remember at all. So, I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. That's my life hack. Set timers, and you just go so much faster. <laughs> Out. I can't get over it. It's ruining my life, but I'm wearing a skims dress and then I throw my free people sweater And then I throw on this coat because I like it and I have my new Jeffrey Campbell boots But um, it's 70 degrees and this is what I'm wearing last night what you guys saw didn't wear that I changed Jeans bodysuit this coat and boots like the most casual outfit. I've had in forever. Thank God honestly, but um, yeah, here we are Just very classy very uh, ooh, rich mom vibes. You know what I mean? I'm back from tea. I forgot my vlog camera. Cannot believe I did that, but I went to the Adolphus. I vlogged there before. It is Sunday night. Uh, it is 5 p.m. I just took Fitz to the back to the yard and he was running outside. I could literally fall asleep right now. I have a lot that I need to do, so I'm gonna shower really quickly. I'm at least gonna plan out my outfits and I'm gonna get like my work to do's knocked out. By the way, I recently got this coat from Shop Mango. I have such great outerwear. I will say I got two new jackets when I ordered them. Um, from uh, Misguided this week that I'm excited for. So this sweater is from Free People. It's the best sweater ever. This honestly, everything I'm wearing is a staple. This dress is the Skims like fits everybody dress or whatever. It is the most flattering dress you'll ever put on. I one of my best purchases. These shoes. You guys already know how I feel about them. I'm so tired, so I'm gonna shower, um, and do the whole like Sunday night routine. <laughs> Fitz ran in the yard like quite literally two hours ago and he is wiped out. I got a lot done today. I was gonna like plan on outfits and stuff, but honestly I was having a little bit of the Sunday scaries. It's 8 p.m. and I probably could have gone to bed at five. I think I'm going to have my outfits laid out. So I'm going to work out in the morning, which I've been totally off my workout routine which is fine i just want to make sure i'm getting back to getting more movement in because i've just noticed that i have a lot less energy and i need energy and i also kind of miss working out but oh, maybe a sweater it's actually cold tomorrow way too many workout clothes right now like i need to go through this it is just oh my god it's too much i don't necessarily like want to wear this in the morning but this set is super cute it's like a pink ribbed set from Year of Ours. And they have the leggings that are like the waistband. You know what I'm talking about? Like the ones that, this they went viral on TikTok from Airy, but Year of Ours actually started it. For that, it's really easy. I can just throw it on in the morning and then head out. I'm actually gonna go work out at a friend's apartment cause her gym is great and I wanna work out with someone so that I like actually work out, you know what I mean? Fitz is ready for bed. I am ready to read. I'm so tired. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life vlog. The next vlog is going to be a week in my life vlog. I'm getting like the home alone out. I mean, there's just like so much happening. So I think you guys are really gonna like it. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Whenever I explain what I talk about to people, I'm like, it's a very selfish venture because whatever I'm going through yeah. at that moment or month or whatever it is, I will hone down and seek out everyone who I think can help me.